Hey guys, you man. Welcome back to our OBGYN Sonography Regis Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question if you have time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. Which is related to this image? A. Achondroplasia. B. Acrania. C. Anencephaly. Or D. Thanatophoric dysplasia. The answer is D, thanatophoric dysplasia. Drag and drop the letter X in the area where the needle for a cortosynthesis will be placed. What you'll do is grab your X and place it right here in the chordal insertion area. What is the situs of this fetus? A. Situs solitis, B. Situs inversus, C. Situs ambiguous, or D. Situs transfigurus. The answer is B, situs inversus. Which is associated with the flattened nasal bone? A, achondroplasia, B, trisomy 21, C, Edward syndrome, or D, thanatophoric dysplasia? The answer is A, a chondroplasia. Which is true about the fetal heart? A, the ventricles always follow the great vessels. B, the atria always follow the AV valves. C, the AV valves always follow the ventricles. Or D, the atria always follow the ventricles. The answer is C, the AV valves always follow the ventricles. Which best describes this image? A, horizontal presentation, B, cephalic presentation, C, breech presentation, or D, oblique presentation. The answer is C, breach presentation. Which is associated with a depressed nasal bridge? A, achondroplasia, B, trisomy 21, C, Edward syndrome, or D, thanatophoric dysplasia? The answer is D, thanatophoric dysplasia. What does the term death bearing refer to? A, thanatophoric dysplasia, B, fetal demise, C, Edward syndrome, or D, Patel syndrome? The answer is A, thanatophoric dysplasia. Frontal bossing is a result of what? A, estrogen exposure. B, flattened nasal bridge. C, intraparenchymal hemorrhage. Or D, 
Retained Products of Conception. The answer is B, flattened nasal bridge. You place your transducer on your patient in the transverse view. You notice the fetal spine is in the axial view at 11 o'clock and the stomach is at two o'clock. What is the fetal presentation? A, breech with transverse head maternal left. B, cephalic with transverse head maternal right. C, cephalic with transverse head maternal left. Or D, breech with transverse head maternal right. The answer is B, cephalic with transverse head maternal right. What else can you expect to see with this finding? A, macrocephaly, B, hydrocephalus, C, trident hand, or D, cleft lip. The answer is B, hydrocephalus, and this image shows frontal bossing. What is the situs of this fetus? A, situs solitis, B, situs inversus, C, situs ambiguous, or D, situs transfigurus. The answer is B, situs inversus. You place your transducer on your patient in the transverse view. You notice the fetal spine is in the axial view at 11 o'clock, and the stomach is at 8 o'clock. What is the fetal presentation? A, breech with transverse head maternal left. B, cephalic with transverse head maternal right. C, cephalic with transverse head maternal left. Or is it D, breech transverse head with maternal right? The answer is A, breach with transverse head maternal left. What does this image show? A, cloverleaf skull, B, brachycephalic, C, cistern, or D, aqueductal stenosis. The answer is D, aqueductal stenosis. What is a blighted ovum? A, multiple gestation. B, intrauterine gestational sac. C, an embryonic gestation. Or D, molar pregnancy. The answer is C, an embryonic gestation. Which could be elevated in this patient? A, HCG, B, AFP, C, MSAFP, or D, estriol? The answer is A, HCG, and this image represents a molar pregnancy. What's the first thing you do when going to a cortosynthesis procedure involving a sterile tray? A, pull corner of cover away from you. 
B, reach under the tray and take out the contents. C, put on sterile gloves and lift contents of the tray out of packaging. Or is it D, put on sterile gloves and uncover the tray? The answer is A, peel corner of the cover away from you. You first want to peel away from you, then you peel the sides, and then you peel towards you. Then you put on sterile gloves, and then you take the contents out of the tray. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming OBGYN boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardreview at gmail.com, or you can personally text or call at 425-922-1635. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.